it's Dad's Day, obviously, and I thought we could start off by remembering some of our dad's best zingers. Uh, I'll start to give you guys time to think about it. Um, I w <laughs> we were in a parking lot, and someone, this guy was walking across the parking lot and blocking my dad's progress to our dad's progress to a parking space, and this gentleman uh, was walking slowly in front of dad and not in any way expediting his travel. And he uh, yelled at the guy, uh, you know, in the car because with the windows rolled up because we're Baptists, said, yelled at the guy, hey, this hat wearing geeka boy needs to get out of the way. <laughs> and I don't, and the gentleman was not wearing a hat. Yeah. So I don't she know had why. To be wearing a hat. There's... I'm not sure why hat wearing geeka boy was the, the the fucking zinger that dad decided to apply to this gentleman. Maybe he had a hat. I time has etched away so much of this memory. Uh, it's hard to say, but um, you know, I think my favorite is the time that we were all sitting in the back seat, and you know, we were having a spat as young brothers are like to do, smacking one another and you know hitting each other. And dad turns around from the driver's seat and says. You guys stop fiddly farting around back there. Yeah. And like all three of us stopped and we're like, well, excuse me? That story fiddly gives him. Farting? That story applies to our dad a, a sort of Flandersian charm. Um, <laughs> uh, my favorite is the time that he was up in the attic arranging his comic book collection and he took the screen out of the window because uh, it was so hot. And then he bent down to pick up a box of comics and cut his butt wide open <laughs> on the edge of the screen. And then we didn't have any bandages big enough to go on his new his butt gash, and so he uh, he duct taped a maxi pad to his butt. Oh, <laughs> uh, do we want to go through just the list of times Dad's injured himself? Because there was a time he dumped bleach and kitty litter down the sink without seeing a problem with it, <laughs> and passed out in the basement for several hours. And his one time, his fellow DJ, when explaining why he was not uh, on the show the next morning, said. Announced to Huntington, West Virginia, that our dad was freebasing kitty litter. Uh, I the sat probably the saddest injury that he got was he was. <laughs> if I had seen, okay, he was bringing a tray of cold cuts to a little league game, and a van drove past him, and the rear view mirror, like the side view mirror, was so close that it blasted him in the chest. <laughs> Sending cold cuts flying. <laughs> if I had seen this happen, I would fucking still be laughing about like it. Like no a scene from question. The Godfather, just pastrami and roast beef <laughs> floating cup, through the cup air. Cup of coal uh, everywhere. Uh, uh, I would, oh man, I would give anything. A and then slow I, opera music played and you just saw like the tray flipping over and over in the air. And I remember we were all in the car to the ER because, like, and he was not that badly hurt, so you can laugh at home. It's fine. We were all in the car to the ER, and um, uh, uh, a lady that worked with Dad was praying over him and just, oh Lord, we just ask that you watch over Brother Clint and, and just help to protect him as we take him into the hands of the doctors. And I know you are going to work through those doctors' hands. And in, and in my head, I'm thinking. That was carrying cold cuts. He got blasted by a side view mirror. Let's not bother God about this one. This one falls. That got hit by a car that was like driving at him. <laughs> like, like, let's not bother God with this one. I think this one's pretty squarely on my dad's shoulders. <laughs> he just couldn't ditch the cold cuts. He didn't want to sacrifice the cold cuts for his own safety. He's a martyr, really. Yeah. Right. What a big dumb animal. <laughs> hey, love, love you, dad. Love, you, love dad. you, daddy. You big stupid yeti. <laughs> that's me and like you know what's weird is I, I'll watch a, we have a bunch of home movies from those days there was a weird window for, for those of you who are too young to remember it there was a weird window when uh, tapes like VHS recorders that you could put on your shoulder came into vogue uh, and the idea of being able to record events was so novel that you would just record everything like everything like everything and it's great Actually, oh, look, they're sitting outside. I better film it. Yeah, right. So we have DVDs full of this stuff, and I realized that the, the DVDs we have start when I was uh, five years old, meaning that dad would have been – dad was 25 when I was married, 
so he would have been 31 in these videos and that's how old i am i have we, we have reached the singularity like wow. all i have full documentation of how it's gonna go <laughs> like, <I have> full <laughs> from documentation. here on out you can chart From your here progress. on out exactly like i know exactly where i'm headed <laughs>